Hi there and welcome back. In this video I'm going to show you how to use these free compounds to easily scatter objects in Maya. So in my scene I just have a terrain and a simple house asset. Let's start by creating a new Bifrost graph. Drag the geometry you want to scatter from the outliner. In this case I am picking multiple instances. Create the custom scatter nodes and let's also add the terrain to the graph. Connect the terrain to the ground port and the geo you want to scatter to instance geometries. Finally, drag the output to a terminal or output node. And you have the objects scattered in the ground. The first thing you want to adjust is the amount of instances and you can also change the distribution type. Now as you can see we have some plants inside the house and intersecting the walls. So we can use a simple cube or any shape you like to remove the plants in, the, in that specific lo location. Drag the shape to the graph and connect it to remove geo. You can have multiple geometries connected here in case you need to. Let's scroll down and now you have a surface orient. This will align the geo to the normal of the ground which can be very useful. You can also move the geo in the y-axis to offset it from the ground in case you have floating geometry for example. Now you have the collision tab that basically will try to avoid overlapping geometry. You also have the random scale and random rotation attributes to play with. Probability can be used to change how many objects of each instance you want. In the vertex map you can plug in a custom color set to mask out the result of the scattering. You also have an option to turn it on and off. In this case I am using the vertex mask to create a group of plants near the house. If your viewport is getting too slow with too many instances, you can use a call point to remove randomly some geometry, but connect the scatter node to the final part of the terminal. This way it will always render the final result and the call points only affect the viewport. I also want to scatter some trees. In this case I exported the trees to an S file, so it loads faster in the render and also to have multiple materials working properly. You can connect the trees geo to the preview port of the archive nodes, this way it will display in the viewport. Then adjust the attributes you need like scale and seed. And now let's have a look at some final features that can be really useful. Here you have elevation and snow masks, that does what the name suggests. You can also play with the values to get the desired result. Also in the remove inside tab you have the option to invert the result. The opaque feature is very useful to render plants or trees with opacity maps. By default is disabled, so it renders properly the opacity map. Let's look at a final feature, which is delete by ID. Basically you can display the IDs in the viewport and just write the, the ones you need to remove. Maybe you like the result of a particular seed and want to remove an object in front of the camera. You just need to enter the ID and the comma. And this is it. You can download it for free from the link below if you want to play with it. Keep in mind that this is a work in progress and more features will be added. But I believe this covers most of the needs, especially for scattering plants, rocks and trees. Just want to say thanks to Val Allen, Seppu and others from the Bifrost Discord for helping me out in particular parts of this compound. Ok, see you in the next video and happy scattering. Bye bye.